something crazy just went down at the University of Alabama. Now, as I reported to you all, chaos, all hell has broken loose. Massive protests have broken out at college campuses all across the country. And as I said before, if you think you live in an area where you won't be affected, you're probably wrong because these protests have even broken out in places like Florida, Texas, and now Alabama. There was a pro-Palestine protest at the University of Alabama earlier this afternoon. It may still be going on when you're watching this video. I'm not sure, but there were also counter protesters. Now, I'm not sure if you're following me on X or Twitter, but if you are, you have seen a lot of crazy stuff over the past couple of days. YouTube will not allow me to show the videos here, but there's like massive brawls breaking out at these protests. And unlike other protests, a lot of these college campuses have refused to allow local police departments to like step in and intervene. So literally from like 11 p.m. to like six o'clock in the morning last night at UCLA, it was all out war. Just people fighting, bashing each other's heads in with wooden pallets, you name it. But out of all of the crazy stuff we have seen at these protests, nothing is crazier than what just happened at the University of Alabama. Let's take a look. <laughs> Now, you cannot tell me that that video did not just give you a little bit of hope. I've lost a lot of hope for our society. I've lost a lot of hope for our country. But in that few seconds, I regained a lot of hope. That was a, mo a morale booster because counter protesters that showed up to counter protest, the pro-Palestinian protesters, they broke out in a chant of F Joe Biden. And then in a moment of brief unity, both sides come together and together they chant F Joe Biden. And I mean, you got the pro-Palestinian protesters, you got people with Trump flags on the other side, you got the Jewish protesters, um, you got all these different groups here and all of them come together in a moment, a rare, beautiful moment of togetherness. And they all chant F Joe Biden together. And in that moment, you realize, hey, you know, we may have more in common than what you think. And I've always thought that Joe Biden had the ability to unite America just not in the way that people think, not in, convic not in a conventional manner. What I mean is like, it doesn't matter how you feel about Donald Trump. Some of you hate Donald Trump. Some of you love Donald Trump. Regardless of how you feel about him, you can't deny that the last few years have been a complete mess. And, you know, I understand that Trump would say some things that made people feel uncomfortable, but Nothing Trump can say can make you feel more uncomfortable than watching Joe Biden get lost on stage. It, he's just obviously like, it gets to a point where I don't really like the guy, but I even feel bad. Like, why are you forcing this old man to do this? Let him go sleep in a chair or something for Christ's sake. But... As our country is slowly torn apart, as politicians and these big tech companies pour gasoline on the flames, it's nice to see that even if just for a few seconds, people can come together. 
And I hope that we see more of this going forward. But something tells me that that's probably not going to be the case. Because right now, these protests have gotten out of control. And what I mean by that is, in many ways, a lot of the people who organized and radicalized these groups of people, they have now lost control of these groups of people. They want them in the streets protesting, they just don't necessarily want them in the streets protesting what they're protesting about right now. So I feel as if the BLM situation was more predictable than what we're seeing now. Don't get me wrong. I can pretty much lay out a lot of stuff that we're definitely going to see in the future. Like this is definitely going to get worse. It's going to continue to spread. But I believe there will be twists and turns here that a lot of people might not be expecting. Kind of like what we just saw in this video where both sides acknowledge, hey, F Joe Biden. But with all of that being said, let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments be below. While you're down there, hit that like button, subscribe. You can donate if you would like, but always remember to remain opinionated.